Hi, today we're going to install a Bigsby B7 vibrato kit onto this Gretsch Electromatic Jet Guitar. And let's hear what it sounds like before the installation. And now, let's install the Bigsby. Alright, here we've got everything that we're going to need in order to get our Bigsby B7 kit installed onto our Gretsch Jet Guitar. We've got a 564th drill bit, followed by a 332nd drill bit. Next to that, we've got some masking tape that we're going to use to protect our guitar while we do the drilling. We've got an awl down here that we're going to use to mark the guitar for drilling. Next to it, we've got a Phillips head screwdriver. Then from the kit, we've got the four hinge screws, the two mounting screws, we've got our red string that we're going to use to align the tailpiece to the guitar. Then up here, we have the washer for the tailpiece along with the tension spring. And here, we've got our Bigsby B7 tailpiece. Alright, as you can see, we've got the old Gretsch tailpiece removed. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our new Bigsby B7 tailpiece we're going to get it set on the guitar and just kind of start to get it somewhat aligned visually. Alright, we've got the red string that comes provided in the kit tied to our low E tuning post. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run the string. We're going to go over the existing bridge. We're going to go underneath the first roller of the tailpiece. And we're going to come over and back around the second roller, which is where the strings attach. And then it gets a little tricky right here, but what you want to do is you want to loop it around the low E string peg, and then wind it up to the high E. And there are instructions for this in the kit, so don't uh, don't get too discouraged by by this. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to reverse it. So we've got it wrapped around the high E. We're going to come back around the top side of the second roller. We're going to go back underneath the first roller. And then over the bridge. And we're going to tie it at the high E tuning post. Okay, we've got the string that's provided in the kit aligned on the guitar as described in the instructions. And what we're looking for is we're looking for even spacing on each side of our red string on the neck. And so we're achieving that by uh, running the red string through the nut and over the bridge attached to the tailpiece. And we've got it aligned as we want. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use our awl here and we're going to mark our holes for drilling. And now we're going to do the same for the hinge screws. And now we're ready to drill. Okay, we've got masking tape on for the holes that we have marked for our hinge here. And we're going to use our 564 drill bit. And we want to drill in about three quarters of an inch. So we've got our drill bit marked here. Now we're going to drill. Okay, we've got the hinge screw holes drilled and now we're going to drill the holes for the mounting screws and again we are going to, we've got our drill bit taped off about three quarters of an inch uh, to guide us for depth. And now 
now we'll get our tailpiece mounted down. Okay, we've got the mounting screws screwed into the tailpiece and onto the guitar, so we are fully attached at this point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to insert the plastic washer that comes with the kit, followed by the tension spring for the arm. And we're going to get those seated in. And now we're ready for our final step, which is restringing the guitar. Okay, finally here we're going to restring the guitar and um, here we're using 10 to 46 gauge strings, but you can certainly use anything you like um, as long as it's a ball and a string. And what you want to do is you want to put a little kink in the string about you know, half inch from the end of the string. And then what you want to do is you want to run the string underneath that first roller again. Then we're going to wrap it behind and with that little bend we're going to attach it to our string post get some tension on it, run it over the bridge, and we're going to string our guitar as you would any other. So. Alright, we've got our Big Speed B7 kit added to this Gretsch Electromatic Jet guitar, and here's what it sounds like with it added. <laughs> 